there, it is Karen Lebo with VintageDazzle.etsy.com here with another vintage haul. This is going to be a combined haul. Um, I have an eBay lot of sterling silver brooches, which I haven't looked at at all. I just have them all kind of partially uh, unwrapped, but not quite all the way, so it'll be a, a true unboxing. And then I have a few items that I bought at garage sales this weekend. And then uh, the last thing I'm going to do is this bag, which came from my sister-in-law. Oh, God, it's heavy. And um, I have no idea. Well, I can see some things that are in it, but I don't know what's at the bottom. So it'll be fun to unpack that and see what's in it. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the sterling silver brooch lot, which I paid a total of $72.15 for this lot. Um, I think there are six brooches, so that's a, a little more than I like to pay. But they were look, they really looked nice in the photos, so let's see if they stack up. Ooh, yes. Oh, that is so pretty. It's a really nice, big sterling silver brooch. It looks like it's marked sterling. I don't offhand see any other marks on it. Ugh, it's filthy. Oh my god, it's so dirty. That's okay, though. I can fix that. Okay, well, that's good. Let's go to the next one. Mm hmm. Oh, look at that. What in the world? Look, you can't see those purple spots from this side. Only from the... What is this? Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Excuse me. That is so cool. Does anybody know what this is? I've never seen anything like it. Well, that'll be fun to research. Let's see. Are there any marks on it? It does look sterling silver. I'm pretty sure everything in this lot is going to be silver. Oh, yeah, there's a tiny little mark that's really worn, but it says sterling. Um, it's right, see, behind my finger on that little bud right there. Well, you can kind of see there's a little bit of writing there, but it does say sterling. Okay, let's go to the next one. is oh look at this a really pretty enamel peacock with marcasites oh my goodness that's gorgeous yeah well at least even if I overpaid a bit at least they're not disappointing and this says sterling on the inside and silver sterling silver and there's another mark that I can't, I'm going to need a, yeah, a magnifying glass to read it, but anyway. Oh, beautiful. Okay, what else we got? Well, this is exciting. Ooh, this is going to be Morpho Butterfly Wing. I have real mixed feelings about these. I just keep hoping that they don't kill the butterflies to make them. But they probably do. Um, that mark says sterling uh, Bermuda? I think it may say Bermuda. Not sure. But um, that's a true Victorian. It's got that tube hinge and the C clasp. It's in really nice condition. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, nice. Let's see. Okay, yeah. It's Mark Sterling right there. Right where my thumbnail is. On the top of the grape. 
Okay. Well, that's very pretty. And last one. It's kind of a run-of-the-mill cyan silver. These seem to be really, really popular, though. And it's got an old mark, so that's good. It's marked cyan. That means it's going to be... Oh, uh, I forget the dates, 1950s or earlier. Um, there's a specific date range where the country was called Siam. That's in pretty good shape. Okay. Alright, so we're going to put those to the side. And these are my garage sale finds. I'm getting excited about garage sales starting up again. There's this one lady that has one once a month, and she always has really nice stuff, but it's usually high-priced. I did buy something from her this time, which I'll show you in a minute. This is a box. It needs a little cleaning and spiffing, but it's, um, you can tell it's old, and it's made in Brazil. When it's cleaned up, it's going to be really nice. And that, I believe I paid... I think I paid two dollars for that. And then we have a whole bunch of bracelets. These I bought from that lady that always has really high prices. But I think this was her friend's stuff. I paid eleven dollars for all, all five of these bracelets. I was kind of hoping they might be Bakelite, but they're not. You know, I look at them. I looked at them closer. They're probably pretty old, but they appear to be um, molded. I think that they're molded. But they're really, they're they're very nice. And they're probably pretty old. And um, eleven dollars for those. And this is, it's not a piece of jewelry, it's just an old um, key. I'm sure it's a, a decorative and not a real key, although it certainly looks real, doesn't it? The shape of it and everything. But I just sold a bunch of antique keys. I may just hold on to this until I have something to add to it to make a lot. Or maybe I could make a brooch out of it or make a necklace. Might make a ni nice necklace if I had a copper chain. Copper chain. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But I think that was a dollar. And then we have a tiger's eye pendant. And this is Avon. On SP, I think that means silver plated. I'm not 100% sure. It looks uh, looks like it could be silver plated. That was also a dollar. Um, I have another tiger's eye on a little puppy brooch with rhinestone eyes. Oh my gosh, is it a or is it a lion? I think it's a lion. This is very stylized. His mane looks like a a beetle cut, <laughs> if you know what a beetle cut is. <laughs> you have to have a certain, be a certain age to remember that. This has got to be a mid-century piece, yeah. But there's no mark on it. But isn't it cute? <laughs> oh, I really like that. That was also a dollar. Oh, that's all the jewelry I have. Shoot. Okay, and then this last piece is an old, an old, don't fall over, back up, Shriner's hat, oh the call, it's a really cool one with a pharaoh on it, and then it's got, well, I don't know, I got the, there's a rhinestone sword back here. Anyway, uh, that's probably, you know, 1960s, maybe. Oh, those kids. And the lawn equipment. Oh, it just never ends here. Um, 
you know, I'll do just a little bit of rehab on that. These sell for around like $25. I think this is a particularly nice example with that ferro iconography on it. So, could do better. All right, so hold on a minute while I reorganize and we'll start looking at this bag. Okay, so here's the framed picture that was in the bag. And this is Mission San, Gabri San Gabriel Archangel. 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 Oh God, my Spanish. Uh, September 8, 1771, courtesy California Mission Trails Association. Okay, well, it's a really neat old photograph. The mat is stained, but uh, someone might be really interested in that. I don't know. I'll have to do some research on it. Okay, this next piece is, uh, appears to be a hand-woven, um, looks like it's uh, ecot woven purse with leather trim, and it's got several compartments, and it's got a matching, is this a coin purse? Yeah, it's got a little matching coin purse. It looks like a very practical purse. This next piece is a Mexican plate, maybe? A Tulio Rossi demo? Um, oh, what did... My sister-in-law told me something about what this girl is doing with this plum bob thing she has in her hand. Oh, I can't remember. Maybe Rob will remember. She told me that it was important what she was doing with that. Okay, well, that could be interesting. Okay, here we have another very interesting uh, hand-painted leather purse. I think this maybe is going to be from Africa. It's got these leather fringes on it. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. You can't really see it that well in this light, but that is beautiful. Interesting. Okay. And here we have another purse. I have no clue where this could be from. It's obviously exotic, ethnic, handmade from somewhere. I, I'm just not familiar with that kind of textile. That's really cool. Some little beads on it. Hmm. This appears to be a scarf. It looks like it's ecot woven. Don't know where that's from, but oh, it's very, very soft. Very soft cotton. I think it's cotton. Oh, that's very pretty. This is a book, Confesiones de Diego Rivera, the famous artist. Sometimes these old books can be really valuable, so I'll have to look that up. I'll tell you what, it is amazing what these girls can fit in one bag. There is still so much to look at. Uh, this appears to be clothing. It's a shirt of some kind. Hmm. Does it have a tag? I don't see a tag. Looks hand woven though. Wow, that's gorgeous. That's absolutely beautiful. I gotta find out where it's from though. It's really hard to sell something if you don't know where it's from. Okay, we have here. Oops. Oh my goodness. Ah! 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 Okay, well. This is completely, I can only show it to you flat. <laughs> but it appears to be a weaving woman, piece of art, and an absolutely gorgeous hand-carved old, old frame. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. Uh, let's see. Navajo weaver heard is what that says. Very cool. And it's, um, 
Uh, is it a print or is it original? I can't really tell. Um, yeah, I'll have to get a magnifying glass to that and see. Okay, this is pretty freaky. It's a book. It is bound in cowhide. Like, it's furry. Oh my gosh. These always give me the willies. Wow, I'm thinking this is going to be rare. I don't know. 1960. I don't know, 1960s. Wow. That is so freaky. I have no idea what this is. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. Well, not perfect, but wow. Okay, another old book, Mexico, A Study of Two Americas. It's got a split down binding. Let's see if I can find out what the copyright date is. It is. Does it not have a copyright date? How odd. Oh, there we go. 31. 33 reprinted. So it's not a first edition or anything. Hmm. Um, I did already give you a peek at these um, boomerangs in another video, but I just love this one. I have to show it to you again with the giant echidna. And um, it says on the back, the Moody Ludi tribe, maybe even the artist's name, and then this one is something else, I can't, some other kind of, oh no, it's the same thing, Moody Doody tribe, and a price even, $4. Okay, almost there. Almost there. We have, uh, oh shoot, exotic, how to paint moths and butterflies. Ooh, this may be one I'm keeping. Oh, how fun. Oh, look at the, oh, oh my goodness. Look at these beautiful pictures. Oh, wow. How fun. Yep, yep. And the folk art of Mexico. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh, this is a fun book. I'll have to I'll have to look this over a little more carefully. Oh, our local Mexican restaurant has some paintings by possibly this artist because it looks very familiar. Huh. Interesting, okay? Is a great big tote bag. I'm guessing this is Mexico or Guatemala. I never can tell the difference. But it's really pretty. How handy that would be. Really big. Got the fringe on it. Okay. I believe that's it. This bag has a tag that says limited edition. <laughs> limited edition of what? Okay, well, this is a very nice bag with the leather straps and everything. I'm sorry you have to see my dirty kitchen in the background. I apologize. I didn't know I was going to be doing it like this. Okay, that is the end. So thank you so much for watching. These items are, or soon will be, for sale in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. I uh, don't think I'll be putting any of these on eBay unless one of these things turns out to be some super rare thing that I want to put up for auction, but uh, probably not. So anyway, and if you're interested in any of them, uh, let me know. My email is below. That's the best way to contact me, really, is through email. Um, lately, I've had a few people contacting me on Etsy to talk about things that aren't on Etsy. And um, I just want to be sure I don't get in trouble for some type of fee avoidance on Etsy or something. Okay, um, I'll, I'll see you all soon. Please like this video, share it, uh, 
subscribe and comment. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.